Hi all and uh, welcome back to a small help video. Today we are going to talk about warm and hot devices, iPhone, iPad. I have my iPad with me here. And uh, we are also looking at slow performance. These are some of the tips and tricks that I have for this topic. First, so one of the other things that is also very important when you are looking at devices getting too warm or too hot. It is very good to have a look at the apps running in the background because you have closed down all your apps, but a lot of the apps are actually still running in the background. So uh, go into settings, go into general and go into background app refresh. In here, you will get a full list of all your apps and you can see which of the apps that is allowed to run in the background. Some of them, of course, is okay to uh, to do. Uh, for example, a weather app or a sports app that you would like to get some notifications from or whatever app that you use to get notification about a certain topic, news app, whatever. But some of the other apps, for example, the gaming apps, I would say there's no need for those apps to be running in the background. So I always recommend you to uh, just simply turn off all your gaming apps. No need for that. Just go ahead and make sure to turn off the background refresh. It is using a lot of memory and it is using a lot of resources on your iPad. And that could be the reason why you see that your iPad is either running slow or it is getting warm or overheated. So uh, have a look at the app refresh. Another thing, of course, is the iPad storage. As iPad comes with a certain amount of uh, storage and uh, we tend to not really look at that before you get into uh, a uh, stage where the iPad is not performing as expected. And as you can see up here, it is putting the memory into different categories and the full amount of gigabytes used on this one is uh, 48 gigabytes. So I still have some gigabytes left. The recommendation for free uh, gigabytes to have on your iPad is two gigabytes. You should always have two gigabytes of free data so that the uh, uh, device are able to use the memory and still have some left for updates and things like that. So two gigabytes of free data is my recommendation for an iPad. Then you wouldn't get into any uh, problems with performance or warm or overheating device. And as you can see, uh, the device, the software itself is actually recommending uh, some things that is not used anymore and that you should offload on your iPad. But you can also go through each app in the list and see how much space it actually uses. And uh, if you see some apps, okay, you say it is actually using a lot of space, then go into the app and you can say offload the app or delete the app. Offloading the app will not delete the app from uh, your device, but it will not be installed on your device. So offload, offloading will see, uh, make sure to not use more or less any space on your device. So that could be a good thing to do if it is an app that you, I don't really think that I use it anymore, but I don't want to delete it. So you can then offload the app. That's uh, something that you can have a look at for this space. So next thing up is of course, also to have a look at your apps. If you experience that when I use a certain app, it is getting warm or the performance of the iPad is getting slow, then maybe have a look at uh, if there's any updates in the app store. 
So go into the app store and find the app that you have a suspicion that is not really uh, working as expected. Sometimes the apps has some uh, errors in the code and for that reason it is using too much resources on your iPad and it is using too much memory. So updating your app could also solve that because the app, the uh, Windows, of course, releases bug fixes for, for apps uh, if they find an issue. So have a look at uh, updating your app if you have a suspicion for a not working app. These were some of the tips and tricks for overheating and warm and hot devices. These also are some of the recommendations for slow performance, at least the apps where you have the app refresh in the background and also the storage. Have a look at the tips and tricks and I hope you like my video. If you do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I will do more uh, tips and tricks videos. And if you have any questions or comments, put it in the comments section underneath this video. Thank you.